Welcome back to Inside. So when I ended the last episode, I was a little bit further than this part here. This is one save game back from the most current one, and that's because I want to test something. Remember this spot here? I was talking about how there's a, there's obviously one of those orbs beneath the bridge. I thought maybe it actually wasn't necessarily directly there. Maybe I needed to follow the yellow cord, but no, I can actually see it shining through that grate. It's definitely right there. And I was thinking maybe if I continue on, it'll loop back around and I can... Like, I don't know, drop something on the bridge to break it and then get at that place. But I have another idea. And that's why I'm swinging on this thing constantly. So I've already swung on it once. And when I hit that bridge on the right, it kind of fell down a little bit. Like it took some damage, some things fell off of it. Just from my, my weight. You know, just jumping on it doesn't make it break or anything like that. But landing on it from this rope did the first time. So what I'm wondering is maybe if I land on it multiple times, I can get it to break. No? Yeah, seems like that doesn't work. Okay, well I'm going back to the save game, and let's hope it does loop around at some point. If it doesn't, then I'm missing something, and I'm going to go back and get it. I'm definitely not going to just leave that there. Didn't I run away from one of those mermaid things here? So I'm pretty sure I better go really fast. Oh. Ooh. I think I need to close it behind me. Probably. Hmm, timing is going to be a little bit tricky on that. Oh god. No, that's not going to work. Oh god. Um... <laughs> I fucking hate that thing. What does it do with me? I mean, initially it just kind of like drags me down so I drown, I guess, but then what does it do with me after? Does it eat me or something? Um... Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it. Yeah, okay, I need to open it. Whew. Yeah, I need to open it, attract it to the other side, and then go through go through it now that it's opened. Gotcha. Hope it came all the way. Oh wait, I need to close it behind me, don't I? At this point. Probably? I probably do? <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to. Okay, here we go. a little bit curious what would happen if I was actually inside of that thing as it closed. <laughs> God, I wonder if there's like a, a death animation where the kid just gets cut in half or something. It wouldn't surprise me. See, this is just going so far to the right. Like, I really don't feel like this is going to loop back to the left. That's why I feel like I just missed something back there, but I don't know. I'll keep going. Make sure I'm not missing anything down here. Mm, it doesn't look like it. It goes too deep for me to fully explore, though. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Huh, I'm not actually dead. This is like a thing? Do I have a chance to get out of this? 
Oh, I just died. I see, I could actually move to the left and the right, and I think I needed to grab that, like, rope. Ugh. Please just end me, I don't want to see it anymore. Jesus, they really make you watch. That's what they do with me. They don't eat me, they hook me up to something. Maybe this is supposed to happen. Maybe grabbing the rope, which I think I could have done, wouldn't really do anything? becoming one of them and I can breathe underwater I see in the foreground there's a couple creatures so so it hooked me up to that thing and, and that made me able to breathe underwater well, that's... that's handy. And strange. How does that work? <laughs> and the fish follow me. That's so cool. It's like the little chicks that were following me. I see that yellow cord. Can I not, like, go in there or grab it? Doesn't seem like it. I really doubt this is going to go back to the other spot. so pretty. Oh, another one in the background just floating. It's right there, but I can't go into it. It's 
like it's breathing through that thing. Hmm. Maybe this will take me to a bonus thing. Oh, that is so cool. Let's see where that goes in a second. Just want to make sure there's nothing else here. One of those little underwater craft things. So this is the one that I saw go into the wall or whatever before, but this is not the one before that, the one here. This is not going back there. I missed something. I really gotta figure this out. Wait a minute, I think I know how to get to it. I don't think I have to do anything with the bridge, I, I think I get to it from the other side. So it's not all that far to the left. And directly beneath me is that mermaid thing, and I saw that where it came from, there's actually like a little pathway down into the left that goes back the way that the orb is, so I, I probably need to attract it over here. Then that probably gives me enough time to go into its little cubby hole. Yeah, down here. I never explored this way. What do you bet? Ooh, it's looking good. Yes! This is gonna take me to it, right? Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy I finally found it. Yeah, because you couldn't go back the way that you came from, otherwise you'd die. Alright, well, I'll bring you back when I get back to where I was before. Okay, I'm back here, and uh, I got the orb that's down below me as well. Let's go into the mechanical orifice. What was that that just came shooting out? Ooh. I'm seeing a lot of opportunities here to get chopped up. I'm guessing the fan blades spin when it... Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. Ooh, and there is... There's, there's chunks of bodies. Hmm. Okay, so I think I gotta grab one of these things. Gotcha. Are there always gonna be chunks of bodies? Is that just a regular thing? Christ. What's up here? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Well, hey, little buddies. You're not going to kill me, are you? No, just happy swimming little rats. Swimming in the muck and the... You know, just all those body parts all over the place. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Aww. Poor rat. 
Yeah. So, I need to go back and look what's behind the next fan blade. Maybe it just doesn't go anywhere. That'd be my guess, but I need to know for sure. Let's go see. I'm gonna get chopped up, aren't I? Ooh. Yep. Oh. Well then. Didn't even realize I was moving. How far does that go? Ooh. Far enough. So I gotta turn that crank. Um, the crank is probably gonna move this thing, this cover that I have, so I probably need to move it so that the shadow's over this crank thing itself. Oh, God. Uh. Got my foot. It doesn't move very fast. So I think I just need to wait for it to go to the right. I guess I could have given it, like, a little bit of a turn. No, 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 no. Oh, are you serious? Cool. That's cool. Ooh. All right, that should be enough time, right? Wait. What do I need to do? Oh, I see. I need to keep turning it so that it's actually a, like a, a step. It needs to be an extra step. That should do, maybe. Oof, not quite. Do I need to grab that little nub of rope beneath this place? Beneath this little platform? Can I? No, I think I just need to jump into the water. Like, right in the hole, or else... Crack. Ooh. So now that I'm kind of like one of them, I wonder if those mermaid things won't try to attack me anymore. like a little tube here. Yeah, I can't go into it though. I think I, need just, I think I just need to pop out to the surface. I 
I wonder what this U is. I've seen it at least once before. Some sort of a, like, warning sign, obviously. Wait, what the hell? What? How's this... How's this room upside down? I don't understand. The water... I don't see any glass or anything. Or anything to hold the water from falling down. Everything's floating up. It's upside down. How? What? And what are those things attached to each... thing? They look like hunks of meat, but I don't know. That didn't go very far. At least one of them looks like a human, but a lot of them definitely don't look completely... I, I don't know, formed? I don't know if they're forming or... Whoa. Shit. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. Ah. There's one up there. But at the moment, I can't reach it. I get the feeling I'm going to change the orientation of this room in just a minute. God, this room is so atmospheric. This whole game is so atmospheric. too far. Let's see what the big red button does. It can't be all it does. Does it close it and change the orientation or what? is this? Yeah, there's all these tapes here. There were a bunch of tapes at the bottom of where the mermaid took me down and where I, like, regained consciousness and the ability to breathe. There were a bunch of tapes all strewn around there, too. Oh! That's what that little thing was that I couldn't go into. Now I've just opened it up, so now I can go back around the other side. Which, now that I've pressed that button, I bet stuff is different in the room and I can probably get the orb. Actually, nothing about that room changed at all, so I think all this button does is open and close that. I don't understand what the point of that is. But yeah, let me keep going forwards and then see if I can change something, hit another button and then come back. Such as this one. Whoops. Oh, that is really entertaining. Those are beautiful sparks. What is this going to accomplish? Nothing. I don't understand. What am I supposed? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Um. Yo, 
If I stay here, I'm gonna get squished. What is that gonna do? Just bang and then go back down, right? point of any of this. There we go. I was thinking, push it to the side. Can I just... Ah, now I can move it wherever I want. Wait, but there's... There's a ladder over here. I bet if I put it here, it's going to launch itself up there. Please don't land on my head. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> this game is so cool. That's the point of this button. I need to get it up there. Look at how boingy it is. Boing, boing, boing. It's like it's held in place by bungee cords. Okay, so now it's up here. Um, I'm guessing what I'm supposed to do to continue, if I had to guess, would be... If I get up into the water, I'm guessing everything's going to invert. Or maybe it doesn't even matter if it inverts or not, because I can just, you know, swim wherever. Um, but... We have something to do before that. If we put it all the way over here, we can probably hit that button, which hopefully will allow us to get to the orb. Not exactly sure how it's going to allow us to get to the orb. Maybe it'll open up a compartment. So I gotta hit it again. And then jump off. <laughs> That's cool. Now the question is, how do I get out of here? Oh. That's, that's like a, an actual proper room. Like somebody, somebody did stuff in there. There was a chair, there was a bunch of pieces of paper on the wall. Why would they access that room through such a strange means though? It's really bizarre. Okay, timing's gonna be a little bit tight on this, but I assume we just do this one. That's pretty good. Yes! Oh god. Oh, they have the worms in them, don't they? What's gonna happen when that goes back through the water? Is it gonna just... Yeah, look at that. That's so weird. That one in the background is moving. I don't like that. Oh, these things are gross. This space just physically doesn't make any sense. I think I gotta go to that doorway that's lit up there. Is 
the heck was that? I wonder if all this water is going to go crashing to the ground when I do this or something. I wonder if this is what's making them be like this. Nope, just opens this thing. Yeah, I remember a while ago I wondered what, what these cages were for. Well, obviously they're just for holding the servants. Oh, did I actually need to come this way? Thought maybe this was a bonus. I probably need this for something. How are we doing on saves? Okay, we just saved just a second ago, so I think I'll end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.